All right, welcome back, LEGO fans. For today, I have a video review of the LEGO Jungle Mobile Lab set 60160, and this set contains 426 pieces. As you can see from the box, we're going to end up getting a truck. We'll have a bit of a structural build. Uh, we have one of the uh, fairly new uh, canoe slash kayak pieces, and probably the star of the show, we have one of the brand new Venus flytrap builds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take this, open this box up, and give it a build. But before I do that, just to let you see what the back of the box looks like, basically standard fare here kind of showing some of the action features, and I'll show those off once I get this thing built. So let me open up the box, and we'll get started. All right, so inside the box we actually find five different uh, numbered bags along with a couple of extra pieces that are in bags. And because I know some of you like to see this, you also get a sticker sheet. Uh, this is how mine came out of the box, which was obviously disappointing in that it's all bent up. Uh, I'm going to have to put that sticker on and that's going to be kind of annoying. You can see uh, that it's already coming off of the page. So uh, not great packing uh, by Lego there. But anyways, this is the uh, what you build first, which is a pair of minifigures and you get to build the uh, crocodile as well as the new, new Venus flytrap piece. So let's start with the two minifigs, just to show you those uh, quickly. Uh, they're both females in this case, which is uh, actually nice. I'm glad that Lego is trying to be a little bit more uh, gender diverse. Um, the first one comes with some pretty nice printing, has the, the side little satchel there. Uh, again, nice printing on the back. You can kind of see a little bit there. And uh, this one has no extra face. Um, but the second figure, bring up to the camera here, uh, comes with a nice uh, camera piece, which is fairly common. That compass piece is uh, new to me, at least. I think that's new for this um, series. And then this one with the nice printing is, again, uh, but she comes with sort of the, oh, I'm discovering some stuff out here in the jungle. I'm not happy about it. Or uh, get me out of here right now. I don't enjoy any of this. So uh, both of those are nice faces to have, and I think they fit the theme well. The alligator uh, is is quite nice uh, articulating. This is my first one of the new mold. I had a couple of the really old ones from, I don't know, the early 90s. Uh, so this is my first one of these. Um, you can see on the back, if you haven't built these before, the tail's actually held together by a Technic pin. That's one of those little blue ones. Um, but otherwise, you know, you've got some articulation in the tail. The mouth clamps uh, has the bar uh, both front and on the side, so you can kind of pose this a little bit um, as you go. I think it looks uh, better than the old ones. Um, I think the dark green color is a good choice. I like the printed eyes. Good choice there. Uh, certainly looks a bit more menacing than uh, what sort of the old uh, mold used to be. I wish they would make that pin in dark green um, just so that it wasn't quite so obvious there. But otherwise, uh, I have no complaints. I'm certainly glad to have one of these on here or on my collection. And the highlight for most people probably of the build is the Venus flytrap. Uh, it's just a simple, very simple little build here. Uh, you can see you get one of these white rubber bands that comes with the set, and it just fits around um, this back sort of clamp part. And then what you could do is you can carefully uh, kind of pry this up like so, and you end up with a Venus flytrap that's all ready to basically eat that spider that's in there. And this is one of the new spiders. And it doesn't take a lot, and it will snap shut. Um, you can move this all around, plenty of posability. Uh, the the flytrap, it'll snap pretty hard if you're wondering, like, what about for kids? Like, you know, I feel that. It's not, uh, it's not nothing. Um, inside the mouth, there's one stud that you can attach things to on the top and bottom. Um, that's the spider. Uh, it's not really big enough to, to do much to a minifigure. Um, I think, you know, you can kind of get half of it in there and let it eat it. Uh, but, you know, it's still it's still good fun. So that's, uh, that's bag number one, certainly some of the, the highlights of the entire set for me. But that's not it. So let's look at bag number two next. 
All right, here we are with the second bag built now. This is the largest sort of structural part of the set, which is the uh, portion of a uh, what's supposed to be a jungle temple and a waterfall that the temple was built next to. So you can kind of see the main parts just by looking at it. I think it looks pretty good. Um, off to the left here, you get a tree or at least what's supposed to look like a tree. And if I zoom out slightly here, you can kind of get a better look at that. And then, of course, the main sort of front feature is that waterfall. That's one of those plastic pieces, kind of like the sails that they use on um, some of the surfboard sets. Uh, you get a green whip, which in this case is meant to represent a vine. So that's very much like the old Forestman set. So that was kind of neat to see. And then on the far right, you get what looks like, let me move that out of the way. You get basically what looks kind of like a staircase, um, which I actually think is fairly cleverly built um, as you your eye kind of makes it all look connected, but also realizing that it's supposed to be sort of uh, broken down. Um, there's a little bit of, of uh, lack of symmetry, which I think is good, but I do like the, the brick pieces um, sort of as it's built up there. And there is one little play feature here, which I'll show first, uh, and that is you can take your... A machete and you can clear away the weeds and then what do you know there's uh one of the rubies that you're after so i mean this is incredibly simple but it works really well um, and i think it's very satisfying probably for play that you can just do that like you chopped them out of the way and then you get to your prize of course the other big play feature to this uh, is in the back now it's hard to do but and show everything in one clip here but basically if i push on the back let's move this back out of the way you can see from the front, the uh, alligator uh, bursts through the waterfall and is there to attack some unlucky person going on that footpath um, that's right in front of the waterfall. So that's what those two uh, round gray uh, plates with the single studs are meant to represent. And just so you can kind of see around the side here, you know, I think it looks okay. They use one of those manufactured rock pieces to kind of build up quickly, but I think that's okay for something like this. Um, the rest of the back is, you know, it's your typical Lego city back. There's not a lot to see. Um, I don't like the white here. Um, I wish they would have chose, I don't know, even I think just the dark blue that they're, or the blue they're using for the water would have looked better. Um, likewise, I think that piece should have been uh, blue or maybe black and just get rid of some of the red. But as you know, they like to make all the action features, fe uh, red, so... I get why they did it, but I'm not really a fan of that part. But yeah, that's uh, whoops, that's the the set. And the one thing I will say though is be careful when you're building this set um, or ones like this because the first time I did this, my hand slipped and I immediately snapped one of the three little branches off the uh, the bush here. So just be careful. Um, that was an unfortunate move by my part. But yeah, otherwise, uh, that's that. So next up, we're going to look at uh, the next bag. All right, so I finished uh, the third bag now. And as you can see, uh, we're not done with the truck yet, but it's starting to take shape. So there's not a lot to see on this yet, but just to kind of show you what the progress looks like and so you can kind of see Lego's love of different colors that mostly will be hidden with the build. Uh, there's two stickers done so far there'll be plenty more stickers on this truck uh in a few minutes when i finish the rest of it but that's what that looks like right now so i'll show you more of the truck details once it's actually complete but just to show you the rest of the uh the bag the main highlight uh definitely the kayak with what i guess is supposed to be a gopro camera um mounted on the front of it uh this is the second camera in the set um that's not the same as well, it is the same, but I mean it's a different one than the one that the um, scientist lady had from the first set of bags. So that's nice that you get a couple of those. And then you also get a fairly nice mechanic figure uh, with some grease stains. Let's see if I can get this to focus here. Yeah, you can see some grease stains on his shirt and a little bit on his head as well. Um, back printing on that one. Uh, he has yet another wrench in his back pocket. Or actually, it looks like tucked into his trousers, which cannot be comfortable to walk around with. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's that set of bags. But the only other thing that I would be remiss if I didn't show off, because I love when Lego does this. This is uh, the second manual book, but on the back of this one, you get what is very much like what they used to do. 
and that is a large diorama, if you will, of all the the sets, or at least many of the sets and, and pieces and things uh, that are coming out and whatever the theme is. So in this case, it's the jungle exploration, and so you can see there's a whole bunch of the different jungle uh, vehicles and little bits of jungle here and there. You can sort of make out there's a waterfall back there, um, and just, you know, there's the, the Venus flytrap, and the more you look at, the more different things you're going to see. Um, and, I, and I love when they do that, and I wish they would do that more. I understand there's the internet. People kind of know what the sets are, um, but as a kid, I just remember looking at similar things to this and, and absolutely loving it and just giving me ideas and, and everything else. So um, I'm glad that they still do that once in a while, and I thought I would make sure to show that off. All right, next up, we're going to finish off the truck. Uh, it's actually bags four and five, but I'm going to do them all together, and then we'll take uh, one final look at the set. All right, and here's our finished truck. Uh, this took uh, a little bit of doing. Um, two bags worth of pieces, which is, you know, fairly substantial for a LEGO City set of this size. Um, but I think it's definitely worth the time and energy that a kid might need to, to actually make it because there's actually a lot of cool stuff with this uh, truck. First of all, um, this is sort of the, the back side of the truck, actually. Uh, but I wanted to show that first because you get not one but two storage compartments, um, which I remember as a kid, the Mtron sets came out, and that was my first... Um, introduction to this little box with the lid now they look a little bit different than this but it was essentially the same pieces and uh, I just remember loving those so I'm sure kids would like to have uh, certainly one but to have two of them and you can put different things in and slide little uh, like flat tiles through there and whatnot um, I think that's a lot of fun uh, there's also a clip on the back that you could attach a minifigure accessory to um, which I think is is pretty nice um, from the back side of the truck uh, you know, it's it's it looks rugged. It's fine. There's really nothing going on there. And then this would be sort of the the main sort of front side of the truck. And the reason I say that is because this is the side that you can flip open that door uh, panel to get access to the inside. And even better, you can flip this up so that you can actually really kind of see what's going on in there. So sort of looking around here, we've got uh, off to this side. Um, that's a sticker. In fact, all the designs you see in this set are stickers. There really are no printed pieces um, other than the, the compass piece. Uh, but you get a, a map which is showing some, some terrain details and some heights. And then here you get what I guess is supposed to represent maybe a radar type thing. And then on this side, because this is a mobile lab, you get what is supposed to be a scale. And get that to focus there. So a nice little scale. Again, that's a sticker piece. Um, but a very nice one. And then there's off to the left and right of that, there's a couple of green bottles uh, for holding specimens or something like that. So it looks pretty sciency. Um, there's enough room in here to get a uh, one minifigure easily. You can actually fit two in there and have kind of one working here and one looking over here and plenty of space for, for everybody. And it's easy to get your human hands in there because not only does that open, but so does the roof. So I definitely appreciate that as a larger... Uh, lego fan and you've got a couple lights on the top you can move those up and down a little bit they don't really do a whole lot but you know again i think it just goes to the whole lab thing so it looks good and then the front of the cap is actually pretty cool um, it certainly looks rugged and if i can focus on that there we go uh, those two black pieces that you see here and here those are actually uh, kind of like upside down crowbars um, that you hook through and i think it's neat that lego actually used some you know, I'll term it clever use of pieces, um, you know, that kids might not be exposed to otherwise. So I like that. I think that's great. And I wish there's a little bit more of that in some of the city stuff. So that's that. And then finally, of course, because it is a city vehicle, you can just pop the top right off. And inside you have the cockpit, if you will, of the vehicle. Uh, but in this case, it actually seats two rather than just one. So again, I think that's really nice, um, especially since this set comes with four minifigs. Uh, you can fit two of them in here. You can put the other two back here. And you can actually get all the minifigures that come with the set uh, in the main vehicle and have them drive, you know, through whatever terrain you have and then end up at that uh, waterfall where they're searching for the ruby. So I think that that whole thing is cool. I like the big tires. Um, these are just begging to take <laughs> to take this like outside in the dirt and just play with it, um, which I think is perfect. That's what that's what Lego is all about. Um, I, I really have I have no no 
faults that I can think of really with this truck um, other than two things. One, um, there are these lights, if you're actually going to play with it, they, they pop off, you know, kind of easy. They're, they're clipped in there fairly sturdily, but like it doesn't take much to knock them off really. Um, I think for something that looks as rugged as it is, and I mean the rest of this, like I could probably drop it and, and nothing else would fall off. Um, but those those are a little bit finicky. And the other thing is this uh, antenna here. While I get that it adds to the overall effect, um, it's it's only on a single clip. And again, that one falls off pretty easily. So if you're actually really going to take this outside and kind of make it go over the dirt and rough and tumble, um, there's a good chance that you'll probably break that off and you might lose some of those pieces. But I mean, otherwise, uh, not bad. So yeah, that's the truck. Um, and let me put everything in one view and then I'll be back with my final thoughts. All right, so my final thoughts on this set are uh, basically all, pretty much all positive. I think it's a great play set. Um, you get a wide variety of things. You get a very nice vehicle. Um, it, it is truly begging just to, to be played with. So I like that it's, it's bulky, but it, I think it fits. It's not too bad scale-wise. Um, it does look a little bit goofy next to the what's supposed to be a big, you know, jungle waterfall thing, and and the truck is. I mean, with the antenna, it's actually taller than the highest peak of that. So I think that's a little bit off. But you know, for the number of parts that you're having, and like it was supposed to be about imagination, I think that that's that's certainly doable. Um, the waterfall piece is nice. That plastic is isn't bad at all. The uh, the alligator sort of trap mechanism is goofy, but I think kids will enjoy it. Um, I like the little walk across there that you can uh, sort of uh, brave the dangers of the alligator, if you will. Uh, you get four minifigs, all of which are really nice in this set. Um, I, I like that the gender balance is, is mixed. There's two male and two female. Um, you get the nice... Uh, Venus flytrap, which is obviously a highlight with his large snapping jaws. Um, you get the, the kayak piece. You get a couple of cameras. Um, the one printed tile, if I didn't show that earlier, is that uh, compass piece, which I really like as well. Um, yeah, and, and then you get the spider. So uh, all told, I would say that if I had to buy one jungle set that wasn't, you know, one of the two giant, the much larger sets that are obviously much more expensive... I'd be hard-pressed not to recommend this one. Um, it's, it's really, really good. And if you'd like more inter information on this set or any of the other sets that I've taken a look at, please be sure to check out some of my other videos. And if you are so inclined, also my blog. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll have more soon. Goodbye.